Welcome to a demonstration of the JET application. JET means Jet Engine Training. As the application loads you will notice an aircraft flies in from the right hand side and as it comes to a standstill the engines detach and move to the left hand side of the screen to form the menu you see on the screen. This menu is for selecting the engine type you require information on. Only the V2500 engine application has been completed at this stage. To select the V2500 engine you simply move the mouse over the engine with the V2500 text and when it changes to the orange color simply click on the text. Here you are presented with an image of the engine inside the cowling that surrounds it and also a horizontal menu at the bottom of the screen which incorporates symbols and text to identify each button. If we have a look at each button and turn, for example the first one here is engine description. When it changes to the blue color it is selectable. Here you are presented with a two panel screen and simply clicking on either of the panels will cause text to cascade down the screen. This text details information on the V2500 engine. The second button is the Major Modules button and that brings you to the Major Modules illustration. This is a left hand side view of the engine and each of the module sections has been colored. If I move the mouse over each of the section they will pop out. This indicates that they are indeed buttons and simply clicking on one of these sections causes the image field and the text field to change. For example we have an image of that particular major module here in the image field and we have text relating to that major module in the text field. Quite a lot of text can be contained here so a scroll bar has been added to allow the user to scroll down through the text to find the information they need. An additional feature of a scroll down text menu has been added. This is useful if the user knows the name of the, uh, uh, the major module they require but are not familiar with what it looks like. For example the HPC section. Simply clicking on this changes the image to the HPC section and also changes the text to relate to that section. The third button is the left hand side components button. Here you are presented with a left hand side view of the engine and also a familiar format insofar as we have an image field and a text field. We've also got buttons here on the engine which are highlighted by the red outline and as I move the mouse over these they will pop out. As they pop out they become selectable and simply clicking on one of them changes the image field to an image of that particular component and also the text field changes. Again we have the scroll down menu which allows the user to scroll down through this information and select the particular component they are looking for information on. The fourth button is the right hand side components and page and again this is the same features, it has the scroll down text menu, buttons are located on the engine, we have a text field here and we have an image field here. The fifth button is the left hand side components puzzle page and here the user is encouraged to increase their learning about the name of each of the individual accessory components and also their location on the engine. A tooltip has been added to each of the components illustrated here at the bottom of the screen. The user simply moves the mouse over the illustration and they are presented with a tooltip with the name of that particular component. And they are also encouraged to move them onto the engine to locate them in their correct position. And that is simply achieved by left clicking and moving the component to its correct position on the engine where it snaps into place and blends in with the engine. 
When you get it correct, you get a message, well done, keep going. If, for example, you try to move accessory to the wrong position, well, you get a message, wrong position, try again. So let's put it into its correct position. When all of the components are moved into their correct position, you will get a message stating that you have got them all. The sixth page is the right-hand side components puzzle. So again, the user has the opportunity to increase their, their skills and knowledge on the right-hand side components, and they can simply shift those into the correct position on the engine. The final and seventh button is the engine core button, which brings us to an illustration of the engine and indeed a look into the core of the engine. There is a lot of detail in this picture and some of the parts are quite small and difficult to view. They have been identified, um, but again, this identification is quite difficult to read at this magnification. So a magnification feature has been added where the image section can be enlarged simply by left clicking onto the screen and moving the magnifying glass around the screen you can magnify each individual section or area of the engine. If you want to increase the magnification you can use the slider control to increase the magnification and click on the area again where you get a more detailed view of that particular area of the engine. That concludes this demonstration on the JET application. Thank you very much for viewing it.